Alright guys, today we're going to be comparing the Huawei Y9 Prime to the LG G7. Now these both are around the same price point. You can pick them up for around that $200 uh, budget price point. But if you want to gamble and go on eBay, you can get this uh, LG G7 for much cheaper. Uh, they have them on there for $135 or you can bid on one and get it for even cheaper. Uh, they're crazy cheap. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with the hardware. Uh, so on the Y9 Prime, as you can see, it's a bit bigger phone. Uh, it's a plastic build. You have the triple camera setup on the back uh, with the fingerprint scanner and the flash. You've also got USB Type C, the single firing speaker, and the headphone jack. And on the sides, you have the power button and the volume rocker. Up top is where the pop up camera is housed, along with the SIM tray slot. Now, on the G7, you're getting a bit of a more premium design. It's front and glass back with an aluminum frame on here. Feels very solid. One of my favorite feeling phones in the hand. Uh, you have the dual camera setup, a fingerprint scanner with the flash. On this side, you have the Google Assistant button, and you also have your volume rockers. And then on this side, you just have your power button. Now you still have your headphone jack, USB type C, and one single firing speaker. And also, um, I forgot to mention the G7 is actually IP68 uh, dust and water resistant, which is very nice. Uh, so one of the first things that's going to pop out is the display. So you do have a 6.1 inch display on the G7. Uh, it does have that little notch right there. It is a 1440p display, so it's very high resolution display. 564 for the PPI, very high pixel density on this guy, and you also have that always on option. Now for the Y9 Prime, you actually have a 6.59 inch display. As you can see, it's just massive. It's a full screen display, no notch, and it is also a 1080p display, 391 for the PPI. Now when I go to settings, you can see I'm in 1080p, but on the G7, I'm actually in 1440p on here. So you can watch videos in high resolution on the G7. Now it does not really matter uh, because it does look a little bit sharper. Uh, I can't lie about that. But the full screen display on the Y9 Prime is just really awesome. Um, as you can see, it's just better uh, for watching videos. It's more immersive. It really feels like you're just holding a screen in your hand. The G7 has a really nice screen as well. But as you can see, you have to deal with that little notch uh, that cuts into the display. So the G7 is the sharper panel, but if you were going to ask me and I had to choose, I would always choose a no-notch display over a notch display any day. Now you have one speaker on both of these guys, so let's go ahead and check them out, starting off with the G7. So for one single speaker, uh, the G7 is just awesome. I mean, it's one of the best speakers, uh, one single speaker that I've heard. It just, it almost acts like it's two speakers. That's how impressive it is. So instantly, uh, you, you're losing a lot of clarity. It just doesn't sound as sharp and full as the G7. And the G7 is overall louder. and it's just more clear. Now on the Y9 Prime you're running Android 9 with EMUI 9.1. This has the Kirin uh, 710F processor along with the Mali G51 GPU. You also have uh, the micro SD support up to 1 terabyte, 64 gigs of storage, and 4 gigs of RAM. Now with LG, you actually have Android 9.0, and here's the big difference with this phone. You're running the Snapdragon 845 processor and the Adreno 630 GPU. You also have micro SD support up to 1 terabyte, 64 gigabytes of storage, and 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, so what does all that mean? Uh, this game basically plays everything on high from Fortnite, PUBG to Call of Duty Mobile. The LG G7 will play it on high. Uh, this will play things on, I think it played Call of Duty on low and it played PUBG on medium. So as you can see it's a low to mid uh, chip. This is a high end chip. Snapdragon 845 is actually uh, it's basically last year's flagship phone pretty much. So I went ahead and cleared out all the applications. Uh, so let's go ahead and run a quick speed test and we'll start off with YouTube 3, 2, 1. And as you can see, the Y9 actually beat it there. Let's go ahead and try Spotify 3, 2, 1. So as you can see, the Y9 is actually beating it with launching applications.
Now let's go ahead and try Call of Duty Mobile. Three, two, one. So as you can see, it was pretty much faster uh, launching the Call of Duty Mobile. So it's basically going to be faster when you're launching games. But this is going to be faster for, I guess, more real world use, I guess, because most people are going to be bouncing out of uh, applications. So, all right, so let's go ahead and talk about cameras. So on the G7, you have a 16 megapixel standard. You have a 16 megapixel ultra wide and you have an 8 megapixel selfie camera. Now with the Y9 Prime, you actually have a 16 megapixel wide and 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel depth sensor along with the pop-up camera that is 16 megapixels for the front facing. Now as far as the cameras, um, the Y9 Prime does a better job of outdoor shots uh, because as you can see the G7 for some reason just oversaturates everything and it just makes everything extremely colorful as you can see. And the Y9 Prime is a little bit more true to life. Now, when you look at the detail, they both uh, have really good detail when you zoom in, uh, so no problems there. Uh, they're both very similar, uh, but it's just the coloring when you're outside is just really weird on the G7 sometimes. Now, indoor shots, you can see uh, these are almost identical. I prefer the G7 um, right here because it's able to uh, keep a lot of the detail and you lose a lot of detail uh, when you zoom in, when you see on the mic. Uh, so that is really... Uh, really nice you can just see it's just a little bit more sharper it kind of softens up right here again as you can see the G7 actually I prefer the G7's uh, picture it doesn't seem as washed as the Y9 primes as you can see it got the color uh, right on here uh, so you know the G7 is really good uh, but just outside you can kind of get some weird colors sometimes now as far as the front facing camera uh, they were both kind of identical actually uh, they both took the same kind of picture same kind of color accuracy sharpness uh, so you know they were both you know all right for the front facing camera nothing too crazy very uh, decent you can get a decent selfie on here now with the G7 you actually have Bluetooth 5.0 and you have NFC uh, with the Y9 Prime you have Bluetooth 5.0 but you have, don't have NFC on the uh, Y9 Prime, so no mobile payments on this phone. Now on the G7 you have a 3000 milliamp battery with 18 watt quick charging and you also have wireless charging as well. So with the Y9 Prime you have a way bigger battery, a 4000 milliamp battery, but you do not have uh, the wireless charging. Uh, so the battery life on the Y9 Prime beats the G7 by a mile actually. I'm able to get uh, one and a half days of battery life on here no problem. Uh, with the G7 I'm usually able to kill it in about a day. Uh, so you'll get a full day of battery life no problem on the G7. Uh, it's just that the Y9 Prime you can get that and some more. Uh, so battery life is definitely better on the uh, Y9 Prime. So which of you guys prefer the Y9 Prime or the LG G7? Let me know your thoughts and I will catch you guys in the next video.